Hello everybody and welcome back to Yalan app. In this video, I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step guide on exactly how to use the booking.com app. So if you want to be able to know the ins and outs of this app and exactly how you can actually use it effectively, well then this video is going to be perfect for you. So what you're going to do firstly is to just, of course, go into your booking.com app and now you should be taken to this page right here. And the easiest and best thing to start with is to click where it says search and that should be in the bottom left corner as you can see. So as you can see, we're now actually able to enter our destination as you can see. So if you want to be able to actually enter your destination in here, where that you want to be able to go and where you want to be able to book your hotel, well, this is the perfect place to start. So for example, let's search for, let's take London as an example for this tutorial. So I'm just going to actually search for London as you can see, and then you're going to be able to select the dates that you want to be able to actually stay in London. And the dates is going to also, of course, find the hotels that offer you within those dates and how much it's going to cost you. Cost You're going to see that later on. So let's take, for, for example, from 16th of September to 19th of September as an example, as you can see. Then I'm going to click on select dates. And by the way, uh, uh, before I forget, you can also click where it says unflexible, as you can see. And you can also actually let booking.com themselves put like pick a date for you if you want to be able to be flexible and you don't want to pick a specific date because maybe you you don't really care i guess but for this for this tutorial i'm just going to set a specific dates right here as you can see and then i'm going to click on select dates and then i'm going to also click where it says uh, as you can see one room two adults it says like this now but if you for example just going alone then you have to, of course, have just one there or children zero to 17 years old. As, as you can see, you can also edit them in here as well. And you can also add room, like how many rooms that you want to be able to book, as you can see. I'm just going to click on apply here. Then I'm going to click on search now. So it's going to now, as you can see, search. And we're now able to actually find hotels in here. And it's going to give you the currency, by the way, on in which location that you're currently in right now. So as you can see, for me, it's in Swedish Crown right now. But this, uh, as you can see, this right here, it says like this, uh, the first hotel right here, 16,409 Swedish crowns. And that is for the total stay within those dates that I just uh, like filtered before, as you could see. So that is the total cost, what it's going to be basically. So for example, we can scroll down and we can find other hotels in here that are a little bit cheaper than the first one because the first one was very expensive, to be honest. <laughs> But uh, yeah, there's, as you can see, you can just keep scrolling down and see if you can find the hotel that you think is the best for you. So for example, let's take this one as an example, right? It's a three-star hotel, as you can see, and it has a 7.5 rating, as you can see. So it's a 7.5 out of 10. The rating, the rating is based basically on people that have stayed there before, and they have basically rated that hotel from 1 to 10. So this one on average was rated 7.5 as you can see, which is not that bad to be honest. It's not great <laughs> to be to be completely honest, it's not great, but it's not bad either. Um, if you want to be able to like, if, if you go from the reviews alone, I would say that everything from 8 up is pretty decent and 9 up is like great to be honest. I have seen a couple of hotels that were rated like 9.5, 9.6 on booking when I was booking before for another destination. And I think that's the highest that I've ever seen. So those hotels in general have very, very good reviews and they tend to be very good hotels also in general. There's no guarantee, of course, but in general, they tend to be pretty great, to be honest. So let's take this one as an example. So I'm just going to now select rooms, as you can see, uh, way down below, it says like this, select rooms. So I'm just going to click right here. And in here, you're also able to actually select exactly what kind of rooms that you want to be able to stay in. So for example, a single room, as you can see, and this one is the most cheapest option, obviously. But there's also this one, small double room that is a little bit more expensive. Double room, as you can see, and deluxe king room, queen room, and I think that's, yeah, king room is the last one. So as you can see, the prices does change depending on how good room that you want to be able to get. The prices like from the start, they always show you the most like cheapest prices, but the cheapest prices is going to also be the worst rooms in that hotel or not the worst, but the smallest, I guess, rooms in that hotel, just so you know. So I'm just going to select this one as an example, as you can see, 
And then when you're done, you can click on reserve in the bottom right corner, as you can see. So we can click right here. And now we should be taken to this page right here, which is perfect. So now you're going to write your first name, your last name, the email address that is connected to your booking.com account. It's going to probably autofill it for you if you have already created your account on booking, then it's going to probably autofill that email for you. Then the address where you live and the city where you live, the mobile number, your country, and as you can see, what's the primary purpose for your trip, if it's work or leisure. So leisure is more like you're going to relax basically and work. Yeah, of course, it's going to be if you're going to on a business trip as an example. And then you're going to click on next step when everything in here is done. The next step is going to be for you to, of course, choose your payment method. So the payment method commonly is like debit, credit card. Um, sometimes you're going to get Klarna, which does have an invoice option, I think. So you can double check, but it's not available for all hotels and not available for all guests, just so you know, unfortunately. So if you can see Klarna, you can click on it and see if there is any like invoice option, if that is how you prefer to pay. And quite often when you do pay in here, it's it's like more, more that you they reserve that amount from you, I think. So you pay when you actually get to the hotel itself. It, itself quite often. So in here, you probably need to provide them your payment method, but that payment method is going to be more like a clarification that you can actually pay for that hotel. Uh, sometimes you have to pay it straight away, but some hotels or most of the hotels, I think, do actually uh, like offer that you come in the hotel itself and then pay and not pay beforehand, if that makes sense. So double check if that is important for you, of course, so double check everything so that you actually book and pay exactly how you want to be able to, to pay, of course. But I'm just going to go back. I'm just going to show you another thing, by the way. Just going to go back to this page right here. So as you can see in the top left corner, it says stays. And that, of course, means it's the hotels, basically, that Booking.com offer. But they do also offer flights, as you can see, car rental, taxis, and um, other things, uh, attractions in here as well that you're able to book through the app. So it is pretty cool. So for example, if you want to be able to book your flight also through booking.com, that is also uh, available. It is, it is a pretty cool service. So for example, from we can fl fly from, let's take Copenhagen as an example. Take this one right here. And where to, we're going to take London as an example. So it is quite convenient because you can actually choose the dates that you're going to stay at the hotel, but you're going to also be able to actually book a flight if you want to on booking.com as well. So you basically have everything in one place, right? So in here you can choose, of course, uh, who is flying. So I'm just going to take me. And also you can choose cabin class, economy, premium economy, and so on. As you can see, I'm just going to take economy. Then I'm going to click on search. Uh, it's going to give you, I think, the absolute lowest prices that they can find. And it can sometimes take a couple of seconds to a couple of minutes for them to actually find everything, as you can see. So let's see if they can actually find anything on that date. And they can. And uh, as you can see, uh, you can you can book it. And this one, like the first one is always going to be the cheapest one, I think. Uh, oh, no, in, it's not. Sorry. There is actually more like cheaper down below here as well. So just scroll down. And if you want to be able to book flights through the booking.com app, that is also like an option. As you can see, you can just select the one that you want to be able to book. You can see how much it's going to cost. And you can also see exactly how long the time is going to be. As you can see how long you're going to fly. And the return flight is going to also say exactly how long the time is going to be. It's going to give you all the information that you need, basically. And yeah, that is basically exactly how to use the booking.com app.